Dear friends, welcome to Yoga Time with Artem. Today we are going to have a general Hatha Yoga class for the intermediate level, but some beginners also can try to do this practice if they want. So we will start our class with relaxation. Open your knees, keep your feet together, and then slowly and gently bring your torso down. And try to relax your back, relax your neck. Slow down your breath. Relax your face. Try to be an observer. And observe the sounds around you. Observe your body. And observe your breath again. Feet inside, shift your weight forward, and then lift your pelvis up, facing down dog, spread out your fingers, and relax your neck. Pelvis down, plank. And bring your pelvis up, facing down dog again. Pelvis down and plank. It's now try to connect your breath and your movements. Pelvis up. Inhale. One more time. Okay, so now bend the knees. Extend the knees and then lift your right foot up. Step forward with your right foot. Ground your left heel, so place your heel down on the floor. Torso up. Look forward. Find the balance. Okay, 
So now open your chest to the left, look forward through your right hand, then bring your right hand down and extend your right knee, so left hand up. If you need to use your blocks, if you have blocks, uh, you can use a few uh, books. So just try to bring your hand high if you need. Keep breathing slowly. And again, just absorb your body, absorb your breath. Bring your left hand down, bend your right knee, hands on the floor, left heel up, and then step backward. Chaturanga, slowly bring your torso down, slide, open the chest, shoulders down. Look up. And bring your pelvis up, facing down. Them. Okay. So now we get plank. Keep moving. Keep breathing. Facing down dog, bring your pelvis up. And plank. Slowly up. Step forward, ground your right heel, heel down on the floor, and now from here bring your torso up, look forward, spread out your hands, more power to your fingers. Keep breathing slowly. Okay, open the chest to your right, look forward, and then bring your left hand down, extend your left knee, right hand up, Udhita Trikanasana, look up, and again, be an observer. Observe your body, observe your breath. Observe the sounds around you. And just let everything happen around you. So just allow your neighbors to be noisy. Allow your pets run around you. Keep breathing slowly. Good. And now release. 
hands on the floor, and now stand backwards with your left foot. Chaturanga. Slide. Open the chest, shoulders down. Extend your elbows. Pelvis up. Bend your knees. Easy option. Place your chest and chin down on the floor. Tailbone up. Open the chest as much as you can. And just keep breathing slowly. If you want, you can close your eyes, relax your face. More advanced people, you can do headstand, shashasana. Be careful with your neck. If you need, you can use a wall. So bring your head down, lift your pelvis up and then try to bring your feet up as well. Keep breathing slowly. Feet down, and then all together, just relax. Shashankasana, pelvis down, try to place your torso between your knees, relax your back and relax your neck. And here in this position, try to find the balance between your left side and your right side. If you need, gently move your pelvis. So try to open your hips equally. So in Hatha Yoga, it's very important to always focus on the physical body. So during the pra every practice, try to study your body. Slowly, gently grow up. And now you can sit down on the heels, keep your knees together. If you have yoga blocks, you can sit down on your blocks. And then deeply inhale, bring your hands up. Place your right hand on your back, left hand on your elbow, and then gently stretch out your shoulder. Then if you can, try to connect your hands behind. And then you can also check your tailbone, so try to bring your tailbone down, use your belly to bring your head, try to bring your belly slightly up, so and flat your back, keep breathing slowly. If you want, close your eyes, relax your face. And again, just be an observer. Okay. 
Okay. Hands up. Inhale. And now switch your arms. Try to connect your hands behind. Relax your face. And now hands up, inhale. And then exhale. Shift your weight forward. Spread out your fingers. Lift your pelvis up. And relax your neck. So now again, move your pelvis down, plank. Lift your pelvis up, facing down dog. Keep moving and plank. Slowly up. And plank. Slowly up. Bend the knees. And now again, right foot up. Open your hips. Step forward. And now place your left knee down. If you need to use a towel or a pillow, so just place uh, a towel under your knee and then lift your pelvis up. Uh, I'm sorry, lift your torso up, shoulders down. Push your pelvis forward and down. Keep breathing slowly. Hands up, arch your back, try to open the chest, and release. From here, shift your weight backward, extend your right knee, flex your right foot, hands in front, and relax your back, relax your neck. Beginners, if you need, you can use your blocks again. Just place your hands on the blocks. Again, if you want, you can use just books. Try to find heavy, big books. Keep breathing slowly. Gently shift your weight forward. 
extend the left knee, step backward, and now again Chaturanga, open your chest, shoulders down, or lift your pelvis up. Keep moving, plank. I'll lift it up. And plank. Slowly up. And plank. Slowly up. Good. Now bend the knees. And then lift your left foot up. Open the hips. Step forward, ground your right heel, torso up, and now push your pelvis forward and down again. Observe your body, observe your breath. And then lift your hands up. Open the chest. Truly. Gently shift your weight backward. Relax your back, relax your neck. Try to keep your right knee under your hip, so almost 90 degrees. Beginners, again, if you need to use your blocks, you can use some books. Just relax your neck. And gently stretch it out. Gently shift your weight forward, place your hands on the floor. To now extend again your uh, right knee, step backward, plank, then chaturanga, slide, open the chest, shoulders down, look up. Lift your pelvis up. And again, bend the knees. Easy option. Chest and chin down. Open the chest again. Try to keep your knees under your hips again. Almost 90 degrees if it's possible. Advanced people, you can again do Shirshasana, so headstand, 
lift your feet up. If you need to use a wall, keep breathing slowly. Slowly down. If you need to take your time, so don't rush, you can just stop the video if you need. And then try to relax. So don't rush. Slowly, gently grow up. So now beginners, you can sit down on the blocks or just use books. Uh, option number two, you can sit down on the heels again, keep your knees together. Advance people, try to sit down between your heels, down on the floor. Okay, be careful with your knees, be careful with your feet. And then all together spread out the hands now. Then rotate your arms and your shoulders. And then try to shoulder joints. And then try to connect your hands behind. Drop your shoulders down. And then move your elbows backward. And relax your face, close your eyes. If it's too difficult for the beginners, so behind you can just grab your elbows with your hands and pull your shoulders down. Okay, so this is an option for the arms. Keep breathing slowly. your face, keep breathing slowly, take your rest, okay, now slowly inhale, hands up, and then exhale, hands down, so now find a way to bring your feet forward, Gently extend your knees. Then again, inhale, hands up. And then exhale, bring your torso down. To relax your back and your neck. If it's too difficult, you can slightly bend the knees and place your chest on the knees. And then relax your neck.
And again, observe the sounds around you. Observe your body. Advanced people, if you can extend the knees, try to find again the balance between your right side, your left side. So if you need, you can move your feet a little bit. So try to place your heels together uh, on the same level. So if you need, work with your legs, work with your hips. Hands up, inhale. And now exhale, bend your right knee. Option number one, right foot inside. Flex your left foot. So try to bring your heel slightly up. And then hug your right leg. Look backward. Shoulders down, extend your back. Then also check your head. So do not drop your head backward. Try to grow up from your tailbone to the top of your head, up, 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 chin slightly down, uh, try to move your chin closer to your shoulder. Option number two, cross your legs, so increase your twist, the same idea with your neck, with your chin. Option number three, Try to bend the knee, left knee, again increase your twist, look backward, okay, and then option number four for advanced people, try to connect your hands behind, the same idea for your neck, the same idea for your chin, look backward. together release and switch your legs it's now your left foot inside try to extend your right knee as much as you can bring your heel slightly up half your leg look backward shoulders down again check your neck don't drop your head backward Option number two, cross your legs. Option number three, bend the knee, your right knee. Option number four, try to connect your hands behind.
and now release. <sighs> Open your legs now. And then gently bring your torso, try to, re uh, to bring your torso down. Relax your neck. Again, try to find the balance between your right side and your left side. If you need to work with your feet. And always listen your body. Don't push too much yourself right now. You can slightly move your pelvis forward and backward. And try to do gently, soft, uh, gentle, soft movements. Advanced people, you can work with Mula Banda if you want. If you know what is that. So for every exhalation, try to tense the muscles of your pelvic floor. And then just observe what might happen with your hips. Bend your knees, feet inside. Try to connect your feet. And then gently push your knees down. Be careful with your knees. So don't push too much. Again, listen your body. So try to be connected with your body. So love your body. Feet down on the floor and then lift your pelvis up. Drop your pelvis down. Uh, 
a leg to your pelvis up. And drop your pelvis down. One more time. Pelvis up. And then bring it down. Good. Now place your right ankle on your left knee. Grab your left leg. Pull your legs closer to the chest. Again, be careful with your knees. And then switch. Observe the sounds around you again. Observe the feelings in your body. Do you have any difference already? So can you compare your body before the, uh, this class and now? Do you have any difference in your head? So just really try to be an observer and ask questions to yourself. Okay, now release. Grab the big toes, baby pose, open the hips. If you want, you can move your pelvis from side to side. Relax your lower back. Okay, and then from here you can take just general Shavasana. So place your legs down on the floor. Try to relax all your muscles. If you want, you can place your legs on a sofa. And then also relax. So now check your fingers, check your toes. If you need gently move them, try to relax your face, to relax your back. If you need gently move your pelvis from side to side, try to relax your lower back. Slow down your breath. Okay, and keep this position for 5-10 minutes. And here I just wish you only the best and I hope to see you next time. Have a good day.